Today we read 1 Corinthians 12, verses 1 to 13. To each is given the manifestation of the Spirit for the common good. Paul begins here his great diatribe about spiritual gifts, which goes on for three chapters. The middle chapter is the best known, the hymn to love. The other passages are a bit harder for us to relate to because they're often talking about types of gifts we're unfamiliar with, such as tongues or interpretation or prophecy. But the overall theme is clear enough, and it's a very important one. All gifts are equal, and all persons, differently gifted, are equally valued by God and equally important within the community. The community is really the point. Paul makes it crystal clear that no one receives a gift to use it for themselves, for their own benefit. Compare that with the way Jesus performed miracles according to the Gospels. Can you think of one that he did for himself? No, I can't either. Even in extremis and when he was taunted, physician, heal thyself, come down from the cross, he utterly refused to. So when the Corinthian Christians were a bit over keen on their spiritual prowess, Paul was scathing. And he used his vivid image of the body to put this point across. It goes on through the chapter. The body has many members, none superfluous, all necessary, and each depending on the others. Together they make up the whole healthy body. So it is with the community. And that's the case whether it's the community of the body of Christ, the church, or the wider community in the world. We are diverse and we have diverse gifts. What matters is that we each contribute our own gifts to the well-being of the whole. Now, when I was a youngster reading this, I used to get a bit hung up on the list aspect. Which gift do I have, I wondered, scanning Paul's list and not finding anything I thought applied to myself? It's a pointless exercise, actually. And if you compare other passages, Paul gives different lists. There is no finite list of spiritual gifts. And we don't know quite what he meant by some of them anyway. Again, the main point is clear. God gifts each of us through the Holy Spirit. Our part is to use our gift in the service of others, whatever it may be. Yet again, this reminds us of the current realisation of how important members of our community are who are often the least well paid or the least often noticed the ones we now call key workers. It's like when bin men go on strike, thankfully very rare, we soon notice how important is refuse disposal, or when the drains block, and so on. We live in a complex, interrelated community with much interdependence, not just in the local area, but across the world. When you think of food supplies and manufacturing and the economy, everything really. How vital then to value good relations in all that connectivity, to ensure that all that interdependence works for the common good, as Paul said. Paul reminds the Christian community that we were all baptised into one body, Jews or Greeks, slaves or free, the main divisions of his day, and we're all now part of that one body, valued equally by God. It's a timely reminder to value every human person in the whole family of God as equally important and as contributing to the well-being of us all.